Hey, we got Drew's Views here, back for a little Car Tuesday, reacting to cartoons on Tuesday with Ben 10, Alien Force. Might be a little noise situation over here. Hopefully it won't be too bad during my reaction, but apologies if it is. Yeah, this is season three, episode 13. This one is called Khan of Wrath. I would have to assume that's a play on Wrath of Khan, which is a, a Star Trek movie, I believe. I think William Shatner shouts, Khan! So, I don't know if Ben's gonna shout, Wrath, in this one. I don't know, Wrath is maybe a name. A con man, or he's doing some kind of con. That's what I would guess, maybe some type of alien uh, con man or something. Last time we had the old uh, Busy Box episode. The episode as a whole was kind of a misdirect with what the, the box they discovered was. You know, it's just alien technology, far advanced from a far advanced species. You know, so far advanced, it was actually like a toy, a baby's toy of that species. So, so yeah, we had some comments here from the last one with people uh, enjoying that episode. They like the concept. There's some disagreement, I think, too. There's a little, looks like we had a little back and forth between two of, uh, I'd say, two of my top commenters here on the, the Ben 10 videos. Uh, debating what's more advanced or if because uh, they said in the episode I think the Omnitrix was not even as advanced as this and so debating whether um, that would be true or not or that makes sense so like I always say I love to see the back and forth and the discussions between uh, you know viewers so a commenter named the cleaners music said I love this episode considering the fact that the night the Nalgen, Nalgen species are 26 dimensional and alien X is stated to be the strongest of all time which means alien x is beyond 26 dimensions interesting so yeah i guess it was the now gen the now gene i don't know i just think of the water bottles there can't remember how they said it but uh i was thinking it was like oh is this the magic species you know with gwen and the anodites but i guess not but yeah they did say there's they do 26 dimensions it was kind of a joke ben's like how many are there whatever but i guess it's a good point the cleaners music alien x must be beyond even that at least 27 dimensions but anyway, that was the last time I'm ready to roll on in to this episode. We'll see if this gets it's another side story type of deal or we're getting back to more of a main plot line. We'll see what the relationship storylines get up to this time as well. And yeah, I'm ready to get on into it. Let's do it. Wrath! I was just trying to look up in the credits who the voice is, but I can't find it. Oh, well. Yeah, about Kevin there, he's saying it, then he just immediately figured out that was the case, or... I don't know, like, I guess the... Yeah, this heaven was clearly what caused it, but... I guess that... Is there something special about him? Or can that species just do it? No, well, anyway. He was like, they just wanted to have Ben be kind of a different character in this one. That was uh, funny to bounce off of, and uh, no one was too much of a threat against him. So yeah, it was good though. Very funny episode. A lot of, I mean, I loved all the callbacks and then the characters coming back. The only one I couldn't remember, the frog looking guy, like Sangfroid or whatever. I, I feel like we've seen him before too. Then I couldn't remember. Was there one episode where, I feel like we must have seen him because like uh, everyone else was like in a recurring character like Volcanus. Arjet, the Vriedel clones, I guess. Because <laughs> as they pointed out, they did explode. Um, anyway, and the Tatanite, or Tatanite, they pronounce it different ways, but maybe I'll finally remember the word for it. Yeah, definitely a good episode for, uh, helping me remember people and things. But yeah, it does seem like Ben really is just, like, people, I guess uh, the whole, uh, season's been happening, but, uh, aliens of different races and whatever just come and <laughs> call on him to do stuff. 
And they kind of, I mean, I guess they kind of paid him this way. They at least, well, they gave him a, you know, credit card, whatever it was, the gold bar thing for, the gold cube thing for their expenses during the trip. But they're not actually getting paid in general for these things, uh, which it kind of seems like they should. I guess like Ben's the hero. I suppose he's just a protector of the universe and Gwen wouldn't let Kevin take money and stuff. But I mean, as we can see a couple of times now, like it's just... Ben pretty much just blindly goes on whatever they say and like it usually it is like a con or, or not usually but a lot of times it is there is way more going on political stuff or yeah I guess the con here was I don't know what the oh well Rath right that's the name of uh did he just make that name up for himself I guess so yeah oh I guess that's what he does for all his aliens what am I talking about but yeah Rath is a apoplexia or whatever it was you know something playing off the word apoplectic that's usually how they do it in this show, but that was a particularly funny one, I think, though. We will see him again. But yeah, the, as far as the con goes, I don't know, was it the, the ambassador guy? It was his con, kind of, I guess, because, like, kind of coercing uh, or tricking Ben and Co. into doing this mission, knowing something bad could happen to the prince, but then they would step in or whatever, most likely. I guess that's what it was. But anyway, another good one, I think. Could definitely see this being a fan favorite. I don't know, unless some people don't like uh, how Ben was pretty much just a different character the whole time, but I, I like the character, so I liked it. And uh, again, like I mentioned several times, but I like the recurring starring lines and pulling stuff back in from older episodes. So this one was definitely one for me. But anyway, I'll be back next car Tuesday with season three, episode 14. We'll see what we get that time. And uh, until then, keep the comments rolling and keep subscribing or stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll be up out of here. Peace.